and says before Abraham was, I am, and he who believes on me has eternal life. Pity poor Ingmar Bergman. He should not have been shouting at Christ in an empty cathedral. He should have been opening the pages of the New Testament and should have read the words of Pilate who says, What then shall we do with Jesus, who is called the Christ? That is the question of the 20th century. Lenin said on one occasion that when communism would take over the world, there would be bread in every kitchen. Yet he never had the nerve to say, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Hitler made outstanding claims for the role of Germany in the beginning of a thousand-year Reich, a thousand-year rule. And yet he never said, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. He never said that. Freud thought psychotherapy would actually heal the ills of the world. Can you imagine that? He actually thought that psychotherapy would heal the ills of the world, and yet he never said, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world gives, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. There are New Age gurus who think that we are going to be recycled, that we are going to be part of this karma process, reincarnation. And they've made some wonderful claims about what it's like to come up on the other side somewhere. Yet they never said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth on me shall never die. Now what are you going to do with him? What are you going to do with him when your eternal destiny is determined by your relationship with him? And you will not be able to avoid him because he says that all judgment is committed unto the Son. Every single person listening to this message personally someday being confronted by Christ, either as judge or Savior, because he is King of kings and Lord of lords, and beside him there is no other. Ingmar Bergman could not hear the whisper of Christ from that picture in the cathedral. But if he had taken his Bible and opened it, he would have listened to Christ's megaphone, the megaphone of God, shouting to all the earth, This is my beloved Son. Listen to him. And Jesus answered, as he did frequently, He who has an ear... Let him hear. God has spoken. God has spoken. Blessed are those who listen and respond. This is Pastor Lutzer. I ended this message by talking about two different kinds of ears. You know, when I was a boy reading the New Testament, I sometimes was puzzled by the words of Jesus when he said things like, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. I thought to myself, well, most people have two ears and they can hear. And yes, that's true. But of course, Jesus is talking here in a spiritual sense. It is very true about us as human beings. There are some things we don't want to hear and no one is as deaf as someone who doesn't want to hear. So there are some people who hear the gospel even as I preached it, and they turn away from it, and they put it aside. But there are others of you who have listened very carefully, and you have ears to hear. Maybe because you've already trusted Jesus Christ as Savior, or it could be that you are interested in trusting him as Savior and the Holy Spirit is working in your heart. I've often said to myself that someday I'd like to write a book entitled The Great Divide. Because as I look at the Bible, I realize that almost on every page you have division. The Bible begins with two trees, a tree of life 
and a tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Adam and Eve had two sons, one who believed and one who did not. Jesus talked about two separate paths. He said that the way of destruction is broad, and many there be that go in thereat. But the way to life is narrow, and few there be that find it. So I conclude this broadcast today by simply asking you, what path are you on? Have you trusted Christ? Do you believe in him? Or could it well be that you have never trusted him and you are on the broad path? Receive Christ today. And at the end of this broadcast, you'll be told how you can receive the book Christ Among Other Gods that will help you to defend the faith that you put in Jesus. Dr. Erwin Lutzer, concluding An Extraordinary Authority, the fourth message in his series, Christ Among Other Gods. Tomorrow, we consider Christ's extraordinary death. Running to Win comes to you from the Moody Church in Chicago. These days, we need a clear reminder of the centrality of Christ as the sole way to God and the sole hope of the world. Pastor Lutzer's book, Christ Among Other Gods, will be sent as our thank you when you give a gift of any amount to support Running to Win. Just call us at 1-800-215-5001. That's 1-800-215-5001. Online, go to OfferRTW.com. That's OfferRTW, all one word, dot com. Or write to Running to Win at Box 11174, Chicago, Illinois, 60611. Join us for tomorrow's Running to Win.